Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for just, you know, taking that chance with me. Um, you know, just taking my videos and, you know, through your lifetime journeys of, you know, putting understanding to our chaotic changes and situations and knowing you know it's going to get better and you're never alone so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just have to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction and you know if you uh, feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes to let you know hey I might want to share this or I know a friend that you know might need to hear it at the time please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up or you can just go ahead and share on whatever social media favorite you pick of your choice and I hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and thank you for the love and support that you give me as well as my channel and I hope you're able to resonate and today um, my video is about Hayoka's is going through spiritual transitions oh my goodness there are so many of us are going through that right now and I'm sending you so much love and light because I know that can be crazy you know I still go through it at times you know and that's when I try to tell y'all about my situations through my life experiences because you never know you know what kind of understanding you can put through somebody's mind go through somebody's you know um, life because you know we can go through some chaotic stuff and not really see you know the situation and it's good like if you can go towards somebody who's biased about your situation that you can trust that you you know they'll be honest with you not to poke fun or judge you at all because I, I try not to judge anybody you know only tell, I tell people I don't mind you sharing with me or trying to ask me for you know advice about your situation long as it's not about sexually or just even abusing children or elderly people you know i I can help you all day and that's the only thing I tell, tell people about you know I don't pass judgment but when it comes to things like that those are two things I don't I don't condone so it's just like you know we all go through situations like oh gosh I went through so much for the last few days where you know I can be very laugh you know laughing I was telling my friend you know she had I had her laughing because it was like I said she was like what was going on you said it was so crazy because she was watching my video and we talk every day and I was like girl I mean I could be laughing one minute and then a certain situation will come up and I'll be crying because this person's going through stuff or you know I can get irritated because this person keeps texting me and you know and it ain't really about nothing and just my situation alone I said I felt like I was straight skit so I'm like ah, ha, ha, you know and just going out and she started busting out laughing I said you just don't know it was just so crazy because it's like I'm trying to deal with my my life but you know sometimes you can deal you can help somebody out with their situation and gives you time to get away from your situation. Like if you know you can't change it. You know, we, we are as humans, we are at fault for that. You know, when we get upset about the things we can't change, it could be about people or a situation. We get put in situations that we feel like is unfair. But that is when I tell people, you know, especially when you're coming into your power and you can be multi-gifted and say like 10 or 12 things are coming at you at one time. I've had that happen where I was going through integration, um, retrospect of certain things, um, ascension spiritual awakening kundalini dark night of the soul all these things at one time that can make you feel like you want to blow your daggone head off that's why i send people so much love and light because we're going through so much stuff and that's why if i feel some type of way if i'm in my feelings about something you know it's good to cry and that's how it was yesterday i was just crying and crying and crying you know simple things you know and it can be for things like my dad sending me love i you know i embraced that and i felt you know that was love he was like why are you crying i can hear him in my head like why are you crying because it's so beautiful and da, 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 i'm not used to all that and you know that's a beautiful thing as soon as i said that was 444 um but it's a you know we're going through all these crazy transitions and it's like 
oh my god <laughs> I mean it's just like you have to be gentle with yourself because it's like it sometimes when you're putting yourself in a box I try to tell people don't ever put yourself in a box you know if there are certain things that you're trying to find labels for not everything has a label to it you know especially if you're going through some kind of spiritual um, acceptance for the things that you're going through and um, oh y'all I forgot to tell y'all what video I'm listening to I apologize to my phone here on the charger um, it's called let me see, this meditation I'll listen to is 369 hertz. Enhance positive energy, attract love in all forms, harmonize energy and frequency. And I'll post that link in the description box below. Yeah, so, you know, I love listening to stuff like this because it gives my energy balance and calmness. You know, I feel sinful. And I love to be able to share that with y'all. You know, I, I love to see that, you know, when people can love bringing chaos to your life, I love to bring peace and joy and love, <laughs> you know, towards people's life because we need that, you know, we really truly do. And it's like, you know, we're going through all these things at one time, and it's like when you're open, it's like, you know, you like a wound is open and you're trying to you know you're trying to doctor up and heal it but you're bumping it or you know you you, you know like if you you know you got a big cut on your hand or something like that I remember I sliced my thumb halfway off and had to go to work the next day and still working and I bumped that mess and I'm just you talking about all hell about to break loose I wanted to punch something somebody you know and it's just like that's that's a wound where we're opening up ourselves to what's really going on in our lives and that's a lot to take in you know, there's a lot to take in, especially with you're a Hayoka. We do everything as backwards and we take the hard road. Like we don't take the simple way of just let go, release. We always trying to investigate something. We poke and pry, trying, you know, trying to find the bottom of everything. And, you know, it can make you go really crazy. So these are the times that you need to be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with others. If you feel yourself being aggravated, put yourself in seclusion you know because I'm an introvert I love being by myself there's times I love talking to my friends you know I don't have that many of them but it's like most time I have conversations is with y'all on here you know because I really don't deal with people on outside of YouTube or you know some social media a lot of times when I'm going back and forth with somebody is because you know it's because of counseling I always call it counseling or you know helping people you know embracing the helping them do that and I mean that's what I love to do anyway you know it's just like when you know you're on that that path of greatness blessings are coming towards your way you're working towards things you know you will end up cutting yourself from off from a lot of people you have to work you have to learn to be alone you know and sometimes it's how you know I've had people like Roz and I hate being by myself you know sometimes we got to be our own best friends at times we have to be that person to be able to sit alone by yourself because this is the time to get to know yourself for who you truly are work on the things that you need to work on to better yourself come into terms with who you truly are embrace your worth and you know have that self-love when you know that you love yourself and you're willing to pass that on to other people you know people appreciate that you know, some people get intimidated by that, and I mean, that's fine, you know, but that's a personal issue with them. It's never personal towards you. You know, and a lot of people are telling me, you know, Rosalind, you know, family members are coming at me, and, you know, I'm, I deal with that, too. You know, I deal with that, but that is not, you know, even though we take it personal, it's not really personal. And I know it's hard for us to do, but with us being humans, we, we you like, why do they keep coming at us like that? It's something that they find fault in themselves that they will push out, they will reflect that on you. You have to not take that personal. If you feel like you're constantly being attacked, you have to be able to move yourself in that situation. You know, there's people that tell me, oh, Ross, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, I'm going through that. And I'm just like, why don't you move yourself from that drama? You know, because I don't have drama going in my life. You know, I had that. But when I can say I'm not going through that no more, this is something they got to deal with. And I, you know, I cut myself off from that, whether or not it's family members or not. You know, I love them, but I can love them from a distance. You know, it's people that came in my life that, you know, I, like I told y'all before, I mean, recent people that has been out in my life for like six months, six, seven months, and they're coming back. And I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> Don't even think about you coming back in my life just to see, you know, how, you know, you, you push something out on me. And then you try to see the aftermath of what you thought you did to me. You know, and I mean, it's just like the old Rosa want to come back and clap back so bad and go to hell off because there's times I have to really go off on somebody. You know, just for them to get the point, like, I don't want you in my life. You know, and I felt bad for that. And I had to ask God to forgive me for doing that. But, dag, I had to put the point out across some kind of way. Because they weren't getting it when I was being kind. 
So it's like when people have tried to wish bad on you because they see that you're heading towards something positive, even though I feel like, you know, we all can head towards that finish line at the same time. But if God can bless me and universe can bless me, don't you think they can do that for you too? You shouldn't judge people on their journeys. And there's a lot of people that do that, judge people on their journeys. And you shouldn't do that because everybody's journey is different. You know, you're going through situations, a lot of things we don't understand why we're going through it. Some things we're still trying to make sense of. And there's sometimes I have to reach an outside source and let them know, hey, I'm going through this. You know, there's times I need advice too, you know, because if there's somebody I can really truly trust and I have a few people I can do that with and tell them this situation, they may be able to see something that I don't see. Just like if they bring it to me, because that's what our problem with empaths. We can figure out everybody else's problems, but there are certain things we go through and we don't understand why the heck we're going through it. So know that you're going through this transition for a reason, knowing, yes, it could be hell. It can't be, but this is the time you have to be gentle with yourself. And I tell people that be gentle with yourself because when you know you're being gentle and I, you know, and there's sometimes I, I'm very, I try to be very, you know, not, not like walk on eggshells, but I try to make sure I use embracing words, empowering, empowering phrases, just to let them know it's going to be okay. You're going through hell, but you're not alone. Even though we might feel like we're alone, we're alone, but we're not. We have spirit guides. I mean, if I'm there to be able to help guide you, I'm there, you know, when I can be there. You know, I try to help out people as much as possible. You know, they're trying to figure out why they're going through the things they're going through. You know, I tell them, get on one-on-one -on -one with me. You know, I love doing one-on-ones. You know, I mean, that makes me feel blessed that somebody admire my opinion because I never try to judge anybody. But I will tell them things that they might not see for themselves. You know, they're, why they're put in this certain situation. And, you know, I try to make sense of the situation they're going through. And they're like, oh, wow. Thank you, Rosalind. You're just giving me positive wisdom. And so I said, that's what I'm here for. You know, if I've been through something, I can tell you, yeah, I'm not going to tell you something I wasn't willing to sacrifice for myself as well. I will never have nobody do that. Because if I've never been in that situation, I can't say that. You know, hey, I would do this. We, have you been through that? Well, no. You know, then I can't do that. Well, I'll tell somebody, this is the way you should go about it. I've never been in a situation like that, but if I did, this is what I would do. So, you know, I hope this was able to, you know, you were able to resonate with this. You know, it brought some peace and kind of, you know, validated some things you might be going through. You know, all of us hey, hope is we're going through a very major transition. You're going to go through a lot of emotions and knowing you need to be patient with yourself. Knowing you're not going to know everything in one day, well enough one week. It takes time because when you get overloaded with things like this and divine sends it to you, that's a lot for you to be stuck with. So you have to learn that, heal from it so you can be able to get the other information that you need as well along the way so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video stay blessed and truly favored and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's somebody out there paying for your praying for your better days and my post notification shot out goes to let me see who i'm gonna darian kraus laura kennedy and Kimber Wolfgang, much love to you and Diamond and S. Harris, much love to you. I hope I'm sending out your love and blessings as well and hoping everything is all well and dandy. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you and I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.